understanding what the right storage for your storage needs comes to is extremely important. Going with the wrong storage option can cost you not only in money, but in added time and space complexity for no real reason. There's a decision tree that is used to understand these requirements for our usages, and from there we can make an educated guess or decision on what type of storage you need. So the first thing you need to understand is that there are three types of storage options. These options being file, object, and block storage. File storage is when all the data is saved together in a single file, with a file extension type that's determined by the application used to create the file or file type, such as a .jpeg or .docx or a .txt. Object storage is a system that divides data into separate, self-contained units that are restored in a flat environment, with all objects at the same level. There are no folders or subdirectories like those used with file storage. Block storage is used when the data is split into fixed blocks of data and then stored separately with unique identifiers. Once you understand what type of storage you need, you move forwards from there. If you understand that you need file storage, then the next step is to see what type of access protocol is required. If NFS version 3 is suited to your usage, then you can choose Google File Store. If you need NFS version 4 or SMB or any other access protocol, then a partner solution with companies like Dell and NetApp would be the way to go. If you understand that you need block storage, then your next step is to ask whether you need very quick access or ephemeral storage. If you do, then you can go for the local SSD storage option in GCP. If this is not a requirement, then the next question is to ask yourself is do you need the random access and I.O. for your storage? If this is a requirement, then you can go for a persistent disk on an SSD. And if you do not need random I.O., then you can get a standard, balanced persistent disk. Once you understand the type of persistent disk you need, you have to see whether or not you need regional redundancy for your storage. If so, you need to opt for a regional persistent disk, otherwise the zonal option is the choice for you. If you understand that object storage is what you need, then all you really need to know ahead of that is the frequency that you will be accessing the data and the data retention duration that you need. So there are four object storage options in GCP cloud storage available to you. These are called standard, nearline, cold line, and archive respectively. Standard is opted for when you want to access the objects more than 12 times a year or need to retain your data for less than a month. As you move closer to archive, the access frequency goes down and data retention goes up. For nearline, access is defined between 4 to 12 times a year with a data retention policy of 1 to 3 months. For cold line, the access time is 1 to 4 times a year with a data retention of 3 to 12 months. If you need to retain data for longer than this, you go for archive. As you progress through these types of storage, your access time gets slower and slower.